Okay, so now that we downloaded the zip file, we're going to go into our downloads folder. And see if we can't find out where it is we stored here. Uh, okay, we stored as the uh, PFSense UDP. So we're going to unzip PFSense. Okay, and they were nice enough to put it in its own folder here. Right there. So we'll change directory to that. And let's take a look at what's in there. We have a TLS key. So let's cat that real quick. And that looks like that's the shared TLS key or static TLS key that's used for OpenVPN. We have the OpenVPN configuration. Let's take a quick look at that. Okay, device to use, persistent tunnel, and a bunch of stuff for configuring the, the connection. And the other important file, this is the important one, is the P12 file. This one we really can't cat. Uh, we'll do file on it, find out what kind of file it is, and it's, it's just showing us data. We can use OpenSSL to open it up. Oops. Guess we need the actual file name here. Okay, the fact that it's asking for an import password is actually good. It means our, our private key is password protected. I'm going to type one in, or I'm going to type the same key that I typed when I exported it. Now it's going to show me the certificate here. One of these is the actual CA certificate, and one of these is my certificate. So let's see if we can figure out which is which. Common name is Kurt, so this is my certificate, which ends right here. And then this certificate, common name Jose Gumby CA cert. So this is the CA certificate. Now it's getting ready to show us the private key but it wants to encrypt it because the private key is very important to keep it encrypted. I'm just going to put test here, test, and there's our private key. Okay, I'm not going to show the whole thing, but uh, there it is. Um, so we've got all of our files that we need. Now we need the actual OpenVPN client component to plug into the network manager. So widen this a little bit so it's easier to search. Apt cache, search, open VPN, rep, it's called network client, network manager. So this is the actual back end. I believe if I install this, it will install the GNOME GUI components as well as the actual network manager open VPN back end. So let's do that. sudo apt get install. Yes. Okay, now what just happened? We go to our networking. We go to edit connections. Don't see anything right away, but we can now select open VPN and create that. Now the trouble here is what do you put for all the values and all this stuff? This, there's a lot of settings here. Easiest way to do this is to not put them in. We're going to back up and we're just going to import them. So we're going to add, instead of specifying open VPN, we're going to keep going down and import a saved VPN connection. We'll click on create. Now we're going to go to the downloads folder with our PFSense OVPN configuration file. We select open. And notice it has pre populated just about everything we need here. Password with certificate, under advanced, we go to security, AES 256, just like we chose. Here's where it's using our, our TLS key. Okay. Everything we need. Um, well, nothing's checked here. But a couple additional pieces we need is our name to authenticate. Our password that we specified in our user account on PFSense. Now, and this is the private key password to open up that P12 file. I'm going to save. Now, the last time I did this, it didn't quite save my private key password. I'm not sure why. We'll see if this, this works this time. So I'll save this. I'll close this. Now I could go to VPN connections and click on my new connection. But there's one more thing to do. 
I'm actually internal on my network. I'm on the inside of my network. And I configured PSN, so like you normally would, to listen on the WAN interface for the VPN server. For testing purposes, we're going to switch that real quick. I had it on WAN, and you would need to switch it to LAN, and then save it. And we're going to go back into it, and we're going to restart the service. Service has been restarted. Now that we know it's listening on the LAN interface, we're going to go to our network manager, VPN connections, PFSense, and VPN connection has been successfully established. We have been successful. We'll go back to our command prompts. We'll do ifconfig. We'll go up. Here's our tunnel interface. 192.168.2.6. I guess it doesn't use the first five for some reason. Um, there we go. We're connected. And we'll just go ahead and disconnect. And we're going to go back into our PFSense open VPN server. And we're going to switch this back to listen on to the WAN interface because being able to connect internally to connect from inside the home is really not that useful. I'm going to save that. And I'll restart the service. And we should be good to go. Next thing we'll do is we'll configure this to work on our uh, Android phone.